is all sugar bad for you? This is an important question. So let's look at sugar cane. There is Sacorum officinara, right? That is native, they think, maybe to New Guinea, right above Australia. They found it being you know, uh, cultivated there 4,000 BC, right? Way back. Um, Sacorum sinense, this is the Southeast Asian uh, uh, native plant, and some, some Sacorum barberi, that is from India. So you can see this is where sugar started. It is now all over the globe. It's caused colonization, slavery. Uh, it's got a huge, huge impact. Some people say it is the most impactful natural resource on the planet in terms of what it's done um, to economies, to our food, to our health, to the you know mobilization of populations through slavery and every other darn thing. It's a really big deal. Check out our website for more information on that. But what I want to tell you here is, is it all bad for you. And no, it is not. In fact, your body needs a little bit of sugar. It needs glucose. It does not need any processed sugar. Zero. Not good for you ever on any day in any amount. Um, but from a traditional Chinese medicine perspective, we know, and this is known in the West as well, a little sugar tonifies. It's nutritive. It, it builds energy, right? If you're going to burn you have to have energy. Mental capacity function. Literally, you need 130 grams of glucose per day for your brain to function properly, right? you got to have it. If you don't, you're going to be in trouble. Children growing, they need a little bit, right? Don't need a lot. This is a classic example of an herb where a little bit is good and too much, and it's not good. And certainly, processed sugars, not good at all. But your glucose, your fructose, right? Lactose, these are sugars that are in milk and fruits and vegetables, herbs, polysaccharides, polysaccharides, many sugar molecules bound together. These have profound nutritive capabilities, right? They're found in many, many herbs and fruits and vegetables, right? Antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, anti-tumor, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, surprising, right? So in the right amounts, in the right forms, this is an important substance to your body. Your brain literally has two uh, uh, sweet receptors. This tells you your body is trying to show you ways to eat the proper foods. The yams, high nutrient, right? Carrots, mm, good for you, right? Not candy. <laughs> There's a difference. So go enjoy, enjoy knowing from the traditional Chinese medicine perspective. Again, we even use the sweet flavor to identify those things that are not sugar but have sweetness to them that are very important for your health, for aiding digestion, for building strength, and for moistening. Even sugar used externally is a great facial mask, gets rid of dead skin cells, and it moistens the skin. Check out our Healing Herb Health session on sugar and find out new ways to be substituting and what with, and also how to be using sugarcane, sugar, natural substance, to uh, improve your health. Not use it so that you're having issues. Have any comments, please leave them. Love to hear from you. Join our conversation. You can always send me an email at info at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com. Hope to connect with you soon.